I can't think of anything I'd rather do than take my day off and spend it with you. My YouTube viewers, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Now that can't be any worse than me busting out a rap, right? Yo, check it. Don't go to the dispensaries and pay them prices like a dummy when you can come out my way and cop onions for 120. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just going to quickly unbox this copy of Metal Slug Double X on the PS4. And I just recently learned, I didn't know this, that Metal Slug Double X is really Metal Slug 7. And I know this because I recently found a copy of Metal Slug 7 with the, this like slipcase and everything on the Nintendo DS. I'll uh, show you guys a picture of that. And it was 15 bucks. Now, I had found a copy, a card only copy of Metal Slug 7 a while back, but it was like it was 25 bucks. And I bought another copy, so somewhere I got a card-only copy of Metal Slug 7. Maybe if I, uh, if I find that I could list it on eBay. Anyways, I do dig the inside cover art of Metal Slug Double X. I don't dig the fact that they give you this like art insert and not a full manual. Limited Run does that. Why? I don't know. I guess it's better than nothing. But that's just a quick unboxing of Metal Slug Double X on PlayStation 4. Metal Slug Double X on the PlayStation 4. I guess I should start by saying this game was developed by SNK Playmore, and this is the Metal Slug Double X is the eighth game in the Metal Slug series of games. And no, I'm not counting in the hunt. There's seven levels. Um, the levels they're they're not too varied, unlike other Metal Slug games. And this is the first Metal Slug game, at least that I'm aware of, that did not have an arcade port. Now. This game came out as Metal Slug 7 on the Nintendo DS and as Metal Slug Double X pretty much on everything else. It came out as Metal Slug 7 on the Nintendo DS worldwide in 2008, 2009, as Metal Slug Double X on the PSP 2009 to 2010 worldwide, and as Metal Slug Double X again on the PS4 in 2018. Now this did have an Xbox Live Arcade port in 2010 and there was a PC port both as Metal Slug Double X in 2019. Now, I paid $49.99 for Metal Slug Double X at a video game retailer called Just Press Play. Uh, the one I went to is in York, PA, but they have like four locations in Pennsylvania, at least that I'm aware of. And as that game collector said, you can buy Metal Slug Anthology and Metal Slug Double X on the Video Games New York website for uh, $39.99, which I believe is the retail. I paid $10 more than that. So if you want these games, and for $49.99, that, that, that's pushing it. I, I think I paid a little bit too much, but don't go on eBay. People are pretty much charging double that, like $60, $80. Bucks. Um, but yeah, okay, so Metal Slug Double X. I do believe, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but this is probably going to be the definitive way to play Metal Slug 7, right? I mean, PlayStation 4, that's got to be better than the Nintendo DS and the PSP, right? So it's cool that we got a physical port of Metal Slug Double X. But, I mean, how does it stack up against other Metal Slug games? I can't pick apart every Metal Slug game, like, on the top of my head. But, I mean, th this game's okay. It's not varied in, in levels like the other Metal Slug games are, at least ones I've, I've played in the past. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're at least vaguely familiar of Metal Slug. But, yeah, this game's cool. I dig, the like, the sprite work, the, the aesthetic. I mean, it's a Metal Slug game. It just didn't have an arcade port and it plays like pretty much exactly the same but uh you know there's other games that did more interesting things like, like i forget which metal slug it was but the one where you can become a zombie but you don't die but you just become like a little bit more powerful and you're you're slowed down a little bit you know like weird stuff like that i'm into like the ostrich i don't really think there was a or not the ostrich the camel there's an ostrich in metal slug 7 there's no camel like give us the camel and, you know, I know SNK had different, you know, owners and board members or whatever you want to call it. They've kind of switched hands a little bit over the past, you know, couple decades. And uh, SNK Playmore, I guess, was uh, who did this at the time. But I think they did a pretty good job. And, again, I am glad that we got a port on the PlayStation 4. But I was thinking, you know, the PS4 is getting all these limited run physical games. A lot of those games, well, some of them anyway, get ported to the Nintendo Switch, but any of the SNK stuff, none of it comes out physically except for, like, the 40th Anniversary Collection 
and uh, that uh, that heroines duel, that fighting game that came out physically. But none of the Metal Slug games are coming out physically on the Nintendo Switch. They're only coming out on the PlayStation 4. So that's pretty interesting. And let me know in the comments, why is that? Why are we only getting the physical Metal Slug games on the PS4 and not the Nintendo Switch? Because, you know, if they came out on the Switch, like if the anthology came out on the Switch, like, yeah, <laughs> I probably would have bought that too. But, um... Not the greatest Metal Slug game. This is a good game. It's not the, the greatest. And it, it's a fun arcade running gun. You know, at $40, I think you're getting your money's worth for the physical version. Digitally, let me know in the comments. It's probably maybe 20 or less. I can't imagine this thing be more than, than 20 bucks. But let me know in the comments. Did you buy a physical copy of Metal Slug Double X or do you own it digitally? Do you like the game? Do you have it for the PSP or the Nintendo DS? Let me know in the comments. Till next time, guys. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.